Yo. I was one of the lucky people to try the Neverness to Everness beta and today I have to talk about the game and if this game is going to actually be the next big thing. A free open world game with a new look that absolutely has so much potential now with some minor problems that I have to talk about too. So this will be like a first impression for the game, how this game looks like, how good is this game and I want to start with the story. I really really like how the story looks like in this game like how they tell the story how the characters are animated I'm not gonna give the best opinion about the lore but the storytelling is a big step up from any other gacha game it feels like the next generation of the gacha games this is this is a word that I'm gonna say a lot in this video neverness to everness feels like what the new generation of gacha games will be and basically the new era put it simply you know that in other gacha games yapping without any animation or there's a lot of talking that is not needed. Neverness to Everness, from the start, from the first mission, they give you a lot of cinematics and a lot of good animations. And even out of the cinematics, when we talk about normal dialogue, characters do feel alive instead of being just standing there with a wall of text to read. Not only that, the next thing that I really, really liked was the different environments and how there's literally no loading screen in this game. Like, you load for the first time, which takes a little more time than usual and I think this could be fixed but other than that it's rare to have loadings in this game like there's no much loading screens it's so smooth especially in missions to basically change the whole environment all of a sudden and all of the environment makes you emerge in the story and want to know more about the lore that that was that was very good that was like one of the most important things that I saw that are different from other games because you know we know a lot of gacha games so we want something different we want something new now the next thing that we should talk about is the gameplay now the gameplay of this game when i saw it in the trailer i was like yeah it's good enough and when i tried it there's a lot of characters that are actually very very fun the gameplay can feel smooth with a lot of other things and you know there's a lot of unique characters like i still didn't wish in the game i still didn't get a five star but there's a lot of uniqueness there is a lot of differences as you saw right now with this character it's like every character has an ability has an ultimate they have like an intro skill and the intro skill does look different than the other games you can use four characters at the same time you have three dodge meters like in tower fantasy and you know every character is it feels different like it feels special the abilities are good the fights do feel good but there is one problem with the game and uh, especially the gameplay because i think this is the main problem actually and if this gets fixed the game will have an insane potential and we are so early in the game and the game feels so good that I think this project should actually succeed. So the one thing about the gameplay is the impact. So you know I think that the gameplay is good. The animations of the characters is, are good. And all of these four star characters, even the main character, have an insanely good animation. It's smooth. But I think it lacks a little impact. It's like sometimes I don't feel like I'm hitting. Like, And I'm saying this while actually enjoying the gameplay. It is good. But I have to say that you know we have to make the game better. We have to voice our concerns and even if the gameplay is good I still think it can be a little better with some effects with some more impact but even with this the gameplay feels good the gameplay can feel smooth especially with the intro skills and the good animations of the characters and the diversity of the characters but now let me talk about the next super important thing that I really have to talk about which is open world okay i think this is a very important aspect of this game like this game showed us that they are very focused on open world and to be honest like i still have to try it even more this is still a first impression video so i guess some of the things might change but even with this look like you can enter an event all of a sudden when you are just roaming in the open world it does feel alive like it does feel like these characters are doing something that is of course other than the world being beautiful it is cool it is a very cool city i still have to explore more to give a better opinion about this but 
to make you understand the traversal of this game is actually super good you can run up walls you can climb and then run a little in the walls you have characters that have more traversal so they can easily you know walk on walls like this and most importantly you have cars and you can customize the car you can have so much fun in the casual stuff of this game so you can roam the world and it won't really feel like a chore especially for now and i still think that there is a lot of things in the open world that you can find and you know explore and have fun with them and you know maybe little event can uh, look you can go somewhere and yeah you can have something like this and then you trigger another event so the open world really for now shows that there is a lot of potential for it and i still as i said need to play more to to give you like a better opinion about the open world but for now it looks very good you know there is always something to do that is actually optional you know you can have fun and have to do some optional things that can be so fun in the open world and unlike other games you choose to do these things they are not like something you need to do it's something you can have fun in and just do for fun and the fact that it's that good in this early stage of a beta is actually very cool and since the devs are willing to work with you know people and the community i think that there's so much potential and as you see we got our rewards for just doing that so there's like a pattern with neverness to everness i think that the most important thing that i can say is that the devs in this game are trying to get out of the same formula you know they are trying to experiment with a lot of new things like they go with the formula a little but then they really change in a lot of other things especially the storytelling like i really love it like it's very good and then when we go to the open world they still try to do some other things because a lot of open world gachas they do have cool worlds they do have beautiful ones but it's not something that you want to always go to or have so much things to do other than that, if we talk about the UI, for example, I really like the character UI. It feels similar, but also different than other games. And, you know, it feels smooth. It's not that confusing. You know, it's easy to know how to level up a character. Every character has his own weapon. Then, of course, you have talents that you can upgrade. And, you know, it's a very familiar and cool UI. Nothing special. It's just good for people who are used to gachas and those types of UIs. Now, for the character design, I saw so many characters in this story that they introduced so fast and in actually a good way but also the character design i have to say it is good they actually nailed the character design i think that a lot of these characters in this game look cool and it's it's actually good like the character design is very important for a gacha game and i think they are nailing the character design it's of course we have to talk about the graphics in this game which will take us to yes this feels like it's a next gen graphics game especially if you play it at the highest graphics settings and i'm not playing it at the highest graphics settings because the game maybe needs a little more optimization they still have so much time to optimize the game even more and since i'm playing it on 120 fps by the way like i can have better graphics and less fps but i'm playing at 120 fps and it does look good already especially at night with the rain but yeah there's so much cool places to go to and there's more things to explore for me I don't even know what this is. This might be one of the end game contents. I don't know. Okay, it's just something that you use your stamina on. But as you see, like the city looks so cool. So the game have two very minor problems, which are it needs a little more optimization, which it's very early for the game. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be fixed. Since the game feels that good already and doesn't have a lot of loading screens. Now, of course, there might be some bugs. And actually, I didn't encounter a lot. Yeah, of course, I'm going to report it to the devs. And the main problem, which isn't that bad, the gameplay is that the gameplay can be a little better they can still experiment a little more with the gameplay and the game is not gonna be just good because the game is already very good at this stage it's super good and has so much potential and if they keep on improving on the gameplay i think that this is actually going to be the next big thing the next big gacha game and a lot of people are going to have fun they're gonna have a new experience with open worlds in gacha and of course with story and storytelling so yeah that was basically my first impression with neverness to everness uh, of course i will play the game even more and i will make more content about the game and give you my opinion overall like and subscribe if you like this content and yeah bye bye